Oh no, Barry. What's wrong with your paw? Are you okay? You sound sad. Why are you sad? Because you got a new hay holder. How would that make you sad? Well, let's check and see. So this is another lie, of course. I know, Barry, I'm gonna tell them about it. The corners are sharp enough to slice your fingers open. See in the mesh in there? That's enough if they get over the edge, they can actually get their little claws stuck or their little toes and they can break them. And should this happen to fall down off the side, look at the hooks on these. That's not for guinea pigs and is sharp enough that you can cut yourself on it. It leaves a line. So don't buy that. That's not good. That's gonna go in fish tank of eyes. The second one, you had two hay holders? Oh no, was the second one any better? I'm sorry, let's look at the second one. Oh, we see these a lot. They open on the top so you can fill them up with stuff. Pretty much the same issues though. These edges are sharp enough to cut your fingers open, which means they're sharp enough to cut guinea pig paws, right? I know. On the back of these, it's also the mesh and on the bottom that they can get their little fingers stuck in. And again, not only does this one have hooks at the top, there's also this at the bottom. What happens if this is hung up and this is, the, this part is supposed to be on the outside, but what happens if they get their hook caught in there and then they can't get out and then they pull it down? I know. So that's what happened? Oh, Barry, we'll tell everybody. Don't worry. I hope your paw's okay. So then people say, well, what do you suggest? If you're going to use any kind of hay or food holder that hangs from the side, this is the one we generally recommend. And it has little compartments with a line in the middle. But take that part out. This has enough width to get a guinea pig head stuck. And it also has enough width to get their paws stuck if they're trying to do stuff. Like get in the thing like so many do. So there's two compartments in here. There's this side and there's this side. Sorry, the light is not my friend today. Turn it. There you go. Now you can see both sides of it. So if you're gonna use some kind of hay holder, you wanna hang this at the lowest level of the cage. So I know Bean. Bean's one of our boarding females. But let's pretend. Hi, Bean. Hello. Oh. If you wanted to use this in Bean's cage, you would hang it at the lowest level so there's no way she can get stuck or hurt. But again, see, that's why we took out this piece because if we put this piece back in and she decides to start playing around with it, she can. I know, Barry. So Barry is sending a warning to everybody. That's why he looks so cranky right now. He doesn't want your piggies to have to wear gloves with their little fake bloodness. And just FYI, it's ketchup. So I didn't really cut a stuffy to do this, see? It's just a glove with ketchup in the thumb so that we could get our point across because if you use these metal hay holders and your guinea pig has not gotten hurt, you're very lucky. But if you're thinking about getting the metal ones, what do you think, Barry? Nope. He says don't get them. Otherwise, the blood in the glove could be real. <laughs>